friends, it's Teresa again from True Life, I'm a Teacher. And another question that I have gotten a lot is, how do I record a read aloud? And so the options for this are almost endless, it seems like. There's lots of um, resources online where you can record a read aloud. And so that's what I wanna show you first. Um, you have the, I've been recording these like tutorial videos with Loom, which is currently, um, it's free for education right now. So you can check in Loom or check out loom.com and you can get an account for free here. Another option is with screencast Omatic. Um, I actually, I was having some issues with this and I don't know if it was just that a lot of people were trying to use it. Um, it is free. Um, you have the option, um, as you can see here, to kind of drag this to make the screen size whatever you want. You can just use the webcam or you can use both. All of those options are available on Loom as well. Um, and then another one is Screencastify, um, which I haven't used this at all, but I know and have friends who have used this and they really love it. I have actually been using, <laughs> um, I have been using just my phone and a tripod and I've had my phone, actually I've had it laying like this. Um, so it's been sitting in the tripod, laying like this, and I've used a white background, which my desk happens to be white, along with, um, and then the book sitting just on the white background, and then have been able to record just using the video function here. So that is another option to make read aloud. I should say that you really should, um, be verifying with publishers and or authors to make sure that they are okay with you doing that, um, recording it and like posting it in that sense. Um, I personally made, um, I would make a private YouTube channel that you would share just with your families, um, where you could share your, um, read alouds. Obviously you could also do this live with um, a Zoom call or with um, Google Meet. My only concern with live is that if it gets glitchy for whatever reason um, or if a student has to, you know, whatever, if they're not able to tune in, they've missed the read aloud. So my personal preference is to record it and then share the video with parents. That way they can watch it whenever they're available. Um, and if there's tech issues, it's they'll be able to figure it out. And it's not because your screen froze while you were like, you know, halfway turning the page because that's when it happens. That's when the screen freezes, right? Um, anyway, so several options for you. I will link the tripod. I got mine off of Amazon. I will link that in the this um, video description. Um, it wasn't terribly expensive and I mean there's so many options for tripods out there. You just need to make sure that you have the ability to lay your phone flat. Of course if you wanted yourself in the video it doesn't matter. You would just hold it, um, not hold it, but you would have the tripod sitting like this so that you and the book were there. I chose to just have the book and not me in my read alouds, but personal preference, whatever. Obviously, if we were in school, it's me and the book, but um, for home learning purposes, I decided just to show the book. I hope you find that helpful and I'll have more videos coming for you soon. Have a great day.